Here we go. Today I'm going to clean the pod filter on my Jeep. Um, not a difficult thing to do, but some people may not know. This is a dry style. Um, you could clean it or, or throw it away and replace it. They're not that expensive. Um, but for today's purpose, I will clean it. Simplest, undoing the clamp at the back. And slipping it off. There we go. This is the uh, pot filter. It has lots of folded filter paper to give it a larger surface so it's easier to breathe. All the dirt collects on the outside. I don't know if you can see the discolouring, the darker areas and shades. This one also has a internal cone. Um, so basically what I do is uh, first blow it out with air compressor. Always blow it from the inside out, otherwise you just shove it further into the air cleaner. Because that's the way the dirt travels, so you want it to exit. You probably can't see the dirt. You look on the outside. So here's a particular dirty patch. Um, which I'll gently blow out from the outside, it's just not doing it. And that's stage one. After I've given it a good solid blow out with the air compressor, I like to give it a wash. This is hot water and some truck wash. You could use dishwashing liquid and any detergent because some of this will have some oily, greasy buildup, and especially if they're really dirty, that needs to be broken down. You may even be tempted to use a, an engine degreaser uh, in a can and spray can if they're really bad, but I don't let mine get that bad. So, I'll show you in a minute, even though I've, I've hosed it out with an air hose. Um, there will still be a relative amount of dirt in this water. That air just doesn't blow it out. You can also choose to use a bigger bucket. I just had this in handy. Now, for me, this is fine because mine only had a very light built up of greasy material. But as I'll show you, that water is filthy. That would definitely reduce airflow. I then give it a flick and again with the air hose inside from the inside to out blowing bubbles this will blow a majority of the water and soap stuff out Basically you could give it a rinse in some fresh water and um, then I'll let it dry in the sun before reinstalling on the Jeep and the job is done. It's quite simple really. And here's my filter all cleaned and reinstalled and a bit redder in colour. 
Don't forget to tighten that clamp properly. You don't want it to fall off. Alright, well, thank you for watching my clip and um, I hope you look at the next one that comes up.